All right. Do you want to keep going or you want to get another drink or something? Or just... I'm good to go. Let's right. boogie. Let's boogie. All right. Rock and roll. All right. Uh, hey, everybody. Welcome back to Pretentious Attention. It's me, Greg, and... and Donald Trump still. Donald Trump. It's this, Cody. This is how I'm advertising myself. It's Cody. Don't. I swear to God. No, you're ruining the illusion. How are we going to get views if people God, think that this is Donald Trump? We might get I should put the view. pop filter on there so we can lean close. Wait a sec. Hey, everybody. We're going to go We're gonna go behind the scenes here Ooh. as I look for my pop filter just so we can do that shit more and not ruin our audio. I found it already. Oh, my God. I'm so good. And then when Cody actually tells everybody about this... He's going to be like, yeah, Greg just looked around the garbage in his room really quick until he found what he was looking for. I'm so sorry for what's about to happen next, but if you watch the audio, Cody, you're going to see what amounts to the worst fucking thing I've ever done in my life. It's so bad. It's just just fucking, hey, everybody, how's it going today? I hope you all have had just a really great Sunday, which is the day we're recording right now, or whatever day. Oh, because we're drinking Bloody Marys. Bloody Sunday. But it's not. I'm not going to want to listen to that again. No. Anyway, there, we got a pop filter on, which means that we can actually lean in close without ruining our audio. (laughs) The ball stopped for a second? The ball stopped for a second. (laughs) But let's keep it going. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God, I can't handle it. Okay. Oh. It's probably like three minutes in. We haven't discussed this. We haven't played a single bit of game. We're not any further into the game. Let's go! (laughs) Still using my mechanical keyboard. That's not going to change for this episode or probably the next one. Let's go! Is that pop filter? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Huh? Will that pop filter help out with any of the clacking? No, 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 not at all. It's just if we get close. This is if you get close and you start saying your um, hard let outs, like P's or S's, where you're like, S's or P, then it, it, uh, it changes it. This is the thing that I don't like that Telltale did fix later, but if you watch my cursor, it follows where it is instead of where I put it on the screen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very, very annoying to me because I, uh, ooh, let's let's look at it at least. Uh, very annoying to me because I, I, I don't compensate for that in my head because I assume where I put my cursor on the screen is where I left it. Mm-hmm. You know? It, it's weird. Rather than where it should be. Well, it's it's probably from like a really long time of playing WoW, and everything is whenever you heal, you like probably would click on things like I click on this and then I move my character, but I still have my reticle or my mouse where I want it to be, mm-hmm. and then I can adjust from there. Fair enough. And then there's a woman already hiding from us. You want the ball, Cody? Come on. All right, come on out. Come on out. They don't give you a lot of time to read those things. Shit. All right. I know. All right. Beauty. Hello, Big B. <sighs> Big B. Wow, she's a rule breaker. Uh, Jesus. I wasn't expecting anyone. Out pretty late. I know this looks a little odd. You're out pretty late. <sighs> Is there some sort of curfew I don't know about? Wait, do you want to start a timer really quick? Oh, yeah. You're taking over on keys. Damn it! I'm late. Set it like uh, let it let it go for like thirteen minutes. Okay. Please, baby. Does it does it have a ring on it? Me you no. Won't tell Beast you okay, just no. Do you want me to put a ring on it? No. Too much as it is. Beyonce. And it actually, put a ring on it. Just just make it really quiet. Okay. That way, when it goes off, we can actually be like, okay, it's time to. Oh, uh, no, I can't do that. No, you got it. I'm not lying for someone when I don't. Have a reason. That's, That's a little bit too. Hard. I don't have time to go into it. Right <laughs> right. So if anyone ever hears that sound, hopefully that's what's going on. <laughs> I will, but I have to go. It's not what you might be thinking. She's almost got like a unibrow thing going on. Almost. We've discovered a lot of fable things, and that's really pissing me off almost, that like, that keeps just coming up. Should we review them? Uh, does it expect us to review their charts or something? Uh... Maybe let's check it out. Let's let's when when I get control back, you know how telltale games are. They tell you all the tales. <laughs> I meant I meant just it's a lot of cutscene and then a lot of movement. It's a really right. good security. All game. right, let's let's take a look. See, uh, Book of Fables. 
We've got me, Big B Wolf. That's a lot of reading. A renowned Big Bad Wolf. He's known for tormenting pigs and girls in Red Hoods, but is trying to put those dark days behind him. Big B now acts as Fable Town's sheriff and remains in his human form, mostly. However, due to his rough past, the citizens of Fable Town are slow to trust him. Big B is determined to show that he's truly changed, but some things are too hard to control. We've got the Woodsman, the fallen hero. Is one of the few men who went toe to toe with Bigby in his black big forest in his oh my god black forest days and lived to tell the tale. In an attempt to save Little Red Riding Hood, he split the great wolf's belly open with his axe, filled him full of rocks, and threw the beast into a river. To his dismay, oh god, to his dismay, the popularity his popularity has faded. Even his name is forgotten. He is only known as the Woodsman. Beauty, the caring wife who we just met. Uh, Beauty and her husband, Beast. Oh, okay. There we go. All so we're right. happy meeting Beast here. Uh, once lived in an enchanted castle, but they were forced to flee the homelands in the Exodus, leaving all their wealth behind. Now they live in a modest studio in Fabled Town, New York. Though times are hard, the Beast works multiple. The Beast working multiple jobs to pay the bills. The couple of the longest lasting relationship of all the Fables. Modest studio, despite the fact that they live in luxury apartments. Yeah. Well, I mean, for. New York, uh, I bet this is probably isn't the best. Mr. Toad is a superintendent for a defunct tenement on the edge of Fable Town proper because he's a three and a half foot talking amphibian. <laughs> Toad is required by Fable Town law to keep his family and himself magically glamoured to appear human. The problem is Toad isn't too concerned with what the law is and has to be reminded of that often. Fable Town is a community located on Bullfinch Street in Manhattan's Upper West Side. To regular people, or Mundies, as they call them, it appears to be an ordinary New York neighborhood, but it is really the home of fables from many worlds, and within the business office at the Woodlands lies a massive cavern, a vast library, and hundreds of magical items of immense power. Yeah. All, non-humans fa- all non-human fables live upstate on the farm, an extension of Fable Town. Any idea why they call them Mundies? That seems weird. The Mundanes? Think so? I bet so. The okay. farm is uh, home to fables who cannot pass as human, like giants, goblins, animals, etc. It is located in upstate New York, far enough away from the Mundies to avoid detection. Some of its residents resent their confinement to the farm, despite its size and comfort. To them, the farm is a prison. They would be allowed to leave the farm if they could purchase a glamour, but many don't have the money for something so expensive. Though some, like Colin, sneak out into the city anyways. Colin. Have we met Colin? I don't believe so. And glamours are spells that allow the user to change their appearance. They are expensive, but can be purchased by non-human fables in order to pass for human along the, among the Mundies. Cheap glamour can be found in seedier parts of Fable Town, but they are often unreliable and prone to sudden failure. Okay, so we've got oh my god, there's these gonna are be a lot of these. a lot of people we're supposed to meet. Jesus Christ! Sorry, it was almost all reading and not gameplay for like the first seven minutes of this episode. Right, we can check the achievements on our own time. Okay, desk. Don't don't wake him up. Just look at it. No, I'm just going to look at it. Can you take any of his shit? You can look at the book. Desk. Talk to suit of armor. Look at... Flycatcher needs to dust this guy. Hey, call him Flycatcher. Hey, oh. Touch. Huff. <laughs> Didn't wake him up. So he's pretty much out. All right, so we can do kind of whatever we want. Yeah. Let's go to the mailboxes first. Let's figure out us, where we're going. This will give us a chance to do some things that we might not be able to do normally. I got any mail. Oh, we're at our place. Okay. So this is where most of them probably live? That probably. Because the other guy was a slumlord, so in a row. If they're at least moderately well-to-do. This is where they go? Mm-hmm. On the ground. Name tag. Damn thing. B-Wolf. Hmm. Woodland Directory looked at... All right. Being the beast, so they live in the same place we do. Okay. We, Wait, where was mine? Um. Private, 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 private. I didn't see it. Ah, whatever. Oh, I gotta put mine back up. I gotcha. see. Gotcha. We were the empty one. Two hundred four. Okay, okay, okay. So I know what room I live in now. Should we talk to them or just leave them alone? Uh, is there anything else you can do here that you might not be able to do normally? Mm, ooh, you could just go upstairs. Might as well try and chat with him, I guess, if you can. I was gonna say, like, if anything, he's probably just gonna stay asleep because yeah, because fuck him. Noir aspect of it, you know. Hey, you wink. Grimble. Mm, probably for the best. 
All right, see, see, we didn't have anything to worry about. All right. Nothing to worry about. Now we know that we can get away with cahoots in the future. Such cahootins. It's a really yellow button. I like that button. I'm glad that the game actually makes us wait for the elevator <laughs> like a fucking real person. Like a Metal Gear Solid where you can just hit the button again and it's immediately there. Yeah. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Is that us? Yeah, is that Big related B to him somehow? Hey, wait up. Aww. Have you seen my wife? Oh, that's Beast. Have you beast. seen Beauty? Huh. Uh, I haven't seen her. So it's oh, a lie. I haven't seen her. Oh. Okay. So even though we said we wouldn't lie, we still lied. <laughs> I didn't know what you picked on. before, I'm sorry. I was setting the timer. This is what we get for fucking going in between us to figure our stuff out. New book of fables! More than likely it's Beast. So we're just gonna... We're gonna skip that. We can just do it all at one love some later. Yes. She wanted us to tell him where he was, or where she was, rather. No, no, no. She wanted to. She wanted us to lie and say we hadn't seen her. Oh, gotcha. And then, so when we said we hadn't seen her, okay, we lied. But at first, we were like, we're not gonna lie for something we don't know about. Mm -hmm. What up? We washing our face? Oh yeah. Oh god, look at that. Oh, look, look at his nucks, bro. Bruise and shit. Getting knocked. Mm. What is all the paper towels? <laughs> Hit me in the dick with the paper towels. Fuck salt. <laughs> What's in our fridge? I bet it's like beer, yeah. huff and puff. <laughs> is that ketchup? Should have got a smaller one. Get it? Like I'm gonna huff and puff and blow your house down. Uh -oh. Not even ice cubes. I mean, you, you could fix that pretty quick there, pal. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> if only I had a sink! <laughs> <laughs> it was just, if anything, the reaction from him was just the better, like, slumped forward, like, <sighs> I don't even have ice cubes. Shit. <clears throat> That's kind of cool that they made our knuckles red. Right? Yeah. Trusted this guy. Never trusted this guy. Uh, who do we Ooh, just... eat, eat the Chinese food. Chinese food, look at. It <laughs> won't even let me eat it. Remember ordering Don't remember that. ordering that. Probably a bad sign. Alright, alright. Fam, I mean, look at. Might as well. At least this still works. Important later, maybe? Of course this fan will be important. Should help. He's help. got like an Eeyore feel to him. <laughs> he kind of does. I want to just kind of the, buy the books, but still kind of nice guy, and he's just kind of eeoring it around. Is it, that's a pretty good way to just go. What the oh. fuck? Colin. Oh, now we know who Colin is. <sighs> oh, not again. <laughs> huh? So we're bros with the things that we were eating. Uh, huh? Hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? There's only the one. I've only got the one. So yeah. Moderate asshole. You're like the Captain Picard of everything. <laughs> he even sits in there. Picard. <laughs> <laughs> How to tell someone that you don't like what they told you to do? One on one. Assume an odd posture. And then stare at them. <laughs> oh, that piggy smokes too! That's kind of not cute. Thanks. Couple thousand more of these, we'll be even on that house you were Ha ha ha! So it's actually it's connecting. You can't keep sneaking off the farm. It actually is connecting that, um... To the story. Like, Big Sunshine Red Riding... Uh, Little Red Riding Hood. Shit. And the big bad wolf from the three little pigs. To end up in some prison, I wonder okay? which. Uh, sorry, go ahead and pick one. I wonder which Little Red Riding Hood like, okay? story they're picking from. There. Are they picking Don't from the, the actual that we fable, know, right? Or if it's the and one where Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother were both killed? Both killed. Okay. So we probably won't expect to see them. Though. Probably not. Okay. Because we're not going for it's it's all fables basically. So it's going from like the hardcore version. 
That's since we've already seen that the hunter what you will. opened up now, Big B and threw him into the river. Like, definitely in the hunter. river. But, uh, it would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. Once again, it also sure would have right shown now. everyone how different you are now. Take a sip. Nice. <laughs> I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. Better to be feared. It is better to be feared than loved. You know who said that? Yeah, some sad. <laughs> <laughs> is it weird that we can hear Colin's voice better than everyone uh, else's? No, um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Big seems pretty uh, forgiving. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. Is it weird to say that the pig has very I mean, human facial Yeah, it instance? does. Like, if it wasn't for the pig nose, it would be, like, a real face. Mm -hmm. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching monkeys. Eh, not my fault. Wasn't my fault. I get the impression you say that a lot. <laughs> he is unimpressed. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each but other. But they couldn't kill each other. How do you think this all works? Yeah, but I mean, I if you start know. a fucking fight, like, the like the whole point is, big, like, not showing off that you're, like, fucking crazy being or something. Bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. <laughs> it's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Not everyone. Name one. Beauty or Toad? Toad. Toad. We don't want to mention Mr. Beauty. Mr. Toad. Okay. How were his kids doing? He was yelling at him. Eh, sounds about right. That's time. Oh, we'll finish this conversation then. Life is. Or do we want to play out the episode and do it that way? No. We live a long okay. fucking time. We've already you decided. Like this we made our choice. Thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you Ooh, look at snow, think okay? snow. You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Ooh, well, that too loud, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have maybe to Maybe a little bucket. bit, but we'll, we'll fix it in post. Right, that doesn't make Just sense. Just give me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. <laughs> look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. You give him a drink, we'll be all right. <laughs> that would be the shittiest thing. Is like, here, Colin, you can have my drink. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Go, Greg. My my EpiPen. <laughs> Grab it really quick, Cody. <laughs> oh yeah, Cody. Uh, just sec. <laughs> How's uh, that feel, Cody? <laughs> it it was your like, Greg. <laughs> Shh. Well. Shh. Why did we go to sleep in our chair? Do we not have a bed? Exactly. We're hardcore motherfuckers. Hardcore motherfuckers. There must be something at the door. Those cigarette butts are perfectly vertical. He must put them out like he puts out the ladies. <sighs> Let me take a slow sip on this guy. <sighs> I said I would pause it before I started another conversation, didn't I? You dick. Ah, come with me. Who's that lady? Well, I bet we'll have to go with her next time on Pretentious Attention, oh! buddy. Why do you think that? Because we're quitting the episode. I'm quitting you. Ugh, don't tell me that. I should have added, like, a slap sound because I bet it didn't even show up on the microphone. No, nobody's ever going to know. We'll see y'all. Oh, my God. Like, tomorrow. Whatever. Bye. Eh.